So for today's video, we're going to be learning how to turn a uh, list of string integers into actual integers in Python. And the reason this is useful is oftentimes in uh, competitive programming or different programming problems, your input is given as a line of numbers. And typically, those line of numbers may be separated by a space or something. But when you read in a line in Python, you have to read it in as a string. And you can't turn it into an integer immediately because there will be there will be an error because of the spaces. So, for example, say uh, you had a line in, and the line in was something like this, four five, and you needed to parse it as an array such as one two three four five. So you wanted to actually get a result like this so you could actually deal with it as numbers. So you'll notice that these are strings and these are numbers. And that is what we're going to learn how to do in a quick and efficient method. So first, since we want it to be in a array or a list, what we're going to start off by doing is creating a list of these numbers. But we're, what we're going to do is we're going to store this in a variable. So um, let's call this my array, and we'll set it to the line in. And we want each individual element in my array to be each of these numbers. And what you'll notice that each of these numbers in line in are separated by a space. So what we can do is to actually return the line in as an array, which is separated by its spaces. So we only have one, two, three, four, five in our array we can call the split method. So we call dot split, and we mentioned that we want to split it by space. And we go ahead and print my array. Let's just see what that gives us. Save and run. So you can see that this just gives us a array. But within this array, you'll notice that none of these are integers. Rather, they are strings or characters. They're not the number five, they're the letter five. So in order to fix that, what we can do is we can index into each value in this array and take whatever's in that value and replace it with whatever that's currently in there, but as an integer. So in order to do that, we can use a for loop to cycle through each element in the array. So if we want to cycle through each element in an array, we can use a for loop. So we can do for for i in range. Uh, the length of my array, we're going to, for the, for the example, we're going to start off by just printing my array at index i. Save it and run it and just see what that does. So you can see that it's printing at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And these are strings as output. And what this is doing is it's cycling i from 0 all the way to whatever the length of my array is. So for example, this array right now is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So Python doesn't include the last number in a for loop. So it's going from 0 to 4. And when we're printing my array at spot 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4, we're going ahead and printing everything that's in the array. So instead of just simply printing whatever's in my array, what we're going to do is set my array at the spot that it's currently at. So example, when we first run the iteration of the loop, currently it's at spot number zero, which has value one, we're going to set it equal to the same value, but we're going to typecast it as an integer. So to typecast something as an integer, you use the int um, function or int type, and you can do my array of index i. So what this is doing is it's cycling through every value in my array at my array of that position it's currently at is going to be instead of equal to a string as before, we're going to set it to the same value, but as an integer instead by using the int type. So if we were to go ahead here, print my array, and go ahead and print it, oh, go ahead and print my array before any changes are uh, made, we'll see the difference. Save it and then run it. And we can see that before they're all de dealt as strings or characters, afterwards they're all integers. But there is a better way to do this. As you can see, this is kind of longer. It's like two lines. You're using a bunch of 
syntax and colons and you could make a couple of mistakes or it just is a little bit more annoying and longer to write and programmers usually like to make their lives a little bit easier so there is a short cut to actually doing this in Python. And what that shortcut is, is using an idea called list comprehension. So it's the same idea. You're implementing the same logic, but you're doing it in one line. So it's kind of like an easier way of doing it. So instead of using a for loop right here, we can do something like my array is equal to, you're resetting whatever's in my array. You can loop through whatever's in my array. So for i in my array. So whatever's in my array, that's what i is going to be every iteration. And you can set it as int i. So one second. Oh, that's capital walks on. Int i for i in my array. So this might seem a little bit confusing at first. And if, if it'll make sense if you just read it as English. So integer i for i in my array. So for every value in my array, we're going to set it as an integer. And this is going to do the same thing as above, and it's going to use the same logic. So what I'll go ahead and do is I'll comment that out, and we can see if it still works. So save it and run it. And you can see that it's doing the same thing. And it's a lot shorter and a uh, little less difficult to write, and it's just in one line, so it makes your life a little bit easier. So that's it for this video. Just as a recap, um, oftentimes you're going to need to turn, uh, numbers that are in strings in an array into integers. And the way to do that is to cycle through the array, which has string values in it and replace the current spot you're in with the same value, but rather as an integer, you can either do that using a for loop, or you can use lo list comprehension, which uses the same idea, but is a little bit shorter to write out. So thanks for watching my video and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.